Such a scary ordeal. Joan, thank you. Now to the latest in the presidential transition. Georgia has officially certified its election results. The results show Democrat Joe Biden won the presidential race in the state. The Republican governor now has until 5 p.m. tomorrow to certify the state's electors. In the meantime, President Donald Trump summoned top Michigan Republican lawmakers to the White House today as he continues his bid to overturn the 2020 election. His administration is still not communicating with the president-elect, who met in person with top congressional Democrats. CBS4's Michael George has the latest. Will you honor the will of the Michigan voters? Top Michigan State Senate Republican Mike Shirky was met with protests as he arrived in Washington for a meeting at the White House Friday. The invitation to Michigan lawmakers appears to be President Trump's latest effort to overturn results in a state he lost by more than 150,000 votes. It's an abuse of office. It's an open attempt to intimidate election officials. Uh, it's absolutely appalling. Georgia is certifying its results Friday with a win for Biden. A recount is currently underway in Wisconsin, and the Trump campaign is still pursuing lawsuits. The president's been very clear. He wants every legal vote to be counted uh, and to make sure no illegal votes are counted. Here in Wilmington, President-elect Biden is pressing ahead with a transition, despite a lack of cooperation from the White House. Welcome to Wilmington. The president-elect and vice president-elect are meeting with top congressional Democrats. We were discussing the lame duck session, the urgency the urgency of crushing the virus and easing the pain of this economic crisis. The Trump administration is pushing back on concerns that a delayed transition with regard to the coronavirus vaccine distribution will cost American lives. The same career people that are running this response in Operation Warp Speed on January 19th are going to be the same people on January 21st, and every aspect of what we do is completely transparent. Mr. Biden is set to be inaugurated as the 46th president in exactly two months. Michael George, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware.